Hey guys, today I want to talk about the word simp. It's a word that you're going to hear a lot on expat vlogs. You're going to hear it amongst some expats. It's a word that's often overused on vlogs and it's often overused in the comment sections. And it's often overused by idiots and the toxic masculine type people. Um, these, these are people that become trolls. They bother people. They, they like to go after people. Um, simp is a, a, just a kind of a crappy word. And I'm going to, I'm going to go over this. I'm going to break it down a lot. So a lot of people, a lot of people understand what it really means. And it often gets a, a overused for people that, that, uh, are giving or empathic or like to help people or what have you. Um, and the people that use it usually are not that bright because they don't use the word correctly, not even in its slang term. Okay. And this is what it means. It means overly attentive, overly and overly submissive to the point of neediness. Um, it's often used by toxic masculine type people. It's, it's, it's when it's excessive, um, submissive or excessive neediness. Okay. It, it's also a very immature word used by immature people. Usually uh, a lot of people that are not immature don't use the word. Um, often it's, here we go. It's often used to belittle people who are kind, empathic, um, respectful, and, and, and very giving people. Um, and what it means usually is like, if you, if you're, you're overly attentive and needy towards like a woman, um, to get her attention, you, you try to, um, give her a lot because you, you, you need some attention. You need um, some of her attention and you'll buy her a house to try to get her to like you or something like that. And, and it's, it's almost out of desperation, you know, and a lot of the guys use it over here. If you help people, if you're a, a person that likes to help out the Filipino people, often you get termed as a, as a simp, you know, and I'm a person that loves to help people. I, I help a lot around here. I, I love helping people in the Philippines. I, I, I think that there's, there's a lot of poverty here. I, I like to help people without any, um, I don't expect anything back if I, if I, if I help somebody, you know, um, I will say this though, that most relationships, there is give and take. Okay. And I fully understand that when you get into a relationship or you get married, you expect certain things back and you, you're expected to give certain things. And the people that use this term are, are, are usually the ones with the toxic masculinity that want to take, take, take. They're, they're abusive. They're, um, they're usually not the nicest people. Um, they think of women as just low lives, just something that, you know, you give me sex and that's it. Um, it's, it's a terrible word to use because there's so much meaning and hurt behind that word. Um, when people use it, it's a word that I keep out of my terminology because I, I hate that, that damn word. I hate it when it's used against my friends and, and fellow vloggers. It's, I hate it when it's used because it, it, it just shows, it points to the person as an idiot. It's, it's almost like the red light should be going off on top of their head. Idiot, idiot. As soon as you say that word, because it's, it's, it's a word that I, I remember back in, um, when I was working in schools, the word simp was getting thrown around, um, at, at people. And it was usually the kid that was usually the nice kid. And I could understand why it was so hurtful to the kid. And I remember having se several conversations with many kids about that term. And I rem it was used for a while, then it disappeared and then it started coming back. You know, um, you know, and it's, when it's used to belittle people, it's terrible. It's, it always mischaracterizes people. A lot of people here that use that word, they're actually mischaracterizing people. Um, and they, they, they need to look up the word and look up, look up the background of it and, and what it means and, and, and think about it before they go out and use that term again. Because like I said, the, it looks like you got a red light on top of your head and it's flashing idiot, idiot, idiot. You know, when you use that word over here, it, it really is that toxic masculine word. And I'm not, I'm not trying to be uh, PC or anything like that here. I just think that that word is a terrible word. I, I'm not a person that 
that is part of that PC crowd at all. I'm, if anything, I'm just the opposite. Um, I understand judging people and stuff like that. And, and I, I try not to judge people if I don't have to, but some people, you know, they, they, they bring it upon themselves. But I mean, I've been misconstrued before and, 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 and I've had people talking crap about me here many, many a times and people have seen it out there. They, they, they know. Um, one person was saying that I was paying for my neighbor's rent, which is totally untrue and calling me a simp. It was a, it was a comment on some other vloggers, um, vlog. And I saw that and I'm like, where do these people get these stories? Um, you know, I know one person that's passing them around out there and it's a, it's a vlogger and he passes around a bunch of bull crap about everybody. And most of the people that know me know the truth, you know, and and these other vloggers, I feel bad when they get attacked and people start writing in their comments, oh, you're a simp because you you, you, you bought some land with your, your wife or something like that. You're married, you know? Um, you're expected to give, you know? Um, I think all relationships and friendships are transactional to a certain degree. And it shouldn't be. It shouldn't. Things shouldn't be expected from, from your, well, there is a certain amount of expectation when you get married that your wife or girlfriend is, is going to help you um, around the house and do certain things. And you're going to do certain things. You're going to provide for her. That's that's part of what life is about. And I know people are trying to change that dynamic and 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 for the wrong, I think anyway. I, I, that's my thoughts on that. I think that, you know, every relationship is slightly transactional. But... A lot of these guys that that use that term you usually see them doing the same thing they're out in the bars buying people buying girls drinks with the expectation of something which kind of points to them with the same terminology that they're simping they're ex they're they're needy they're expecting attention because they bought a girl a beer at the bar um these you know and this is why i i, I look at these people as kind of like like morons you know these are the the, the 10 10 percent out there that that nobody wants to hang out with because they're they're just toxic people you know um it's one thing out there busting balls and we've talked about you know that before and and that's a thing that sometimes goes too far over here a little bit and sometimes even if it's light or joking and, and sometimes the same people that do it when you give it back to them they're usually the ones that can't take it you know and I understand that's part of being a man and an expat, but sometimes it just gets it gets really toxic. We didn't come over here for toxic. We come over here for for living a good life, happy, and to get away from this BS because we put up with it in our in our workplaces back home, you know, and we don't want to put up with it over here. You know, the this name calling and you know, if, if like if back home if you vote a certain way, if people insult you. If you if you if you vote for a certain person, you know you know that 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 comes into this too. Um, you know, and it's it's kind of toxic. We didn't come over here for that, and that's why I tell people over here we we try not to talk politics at the table. Um, when we do our live stream, we try not to talk politics much. Um, sometimes it's inevitable that you talk about it a little bit, and I and people if you just talk about it a slight bit oh steve you're awful you you you, you mentioned politics oh my god you, you're the one who says that you don't talk politics and look at you now you're talking politics even right now in this you know it's like come on dude give me a break you know like grow up you know some people have um they have this thing where they constantly have to attack people they 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 have this negativity that surrounds them like a damn cloud you know and it's it's kind of sad and i stay away from people like that i don't want to be around people like that i i I'll, i'd rather stay in my house and watch movies than than, than be around people like that I, I, and that's part of the reason why i enjoy living here because it's peaceful here it's quiet and 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 that's all i wanted out of life is is just to have a peaceful quiet life i don't i don't like to travel much i'm not a big traveler and i can't travel much a lot because of of my leg in the morning it's it, my, my leg bothers me because of my back and I have pain running down my leg, and 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 I I don't get out much, you know. Um, I, I I sometimes I'm in, in I'm in bed during the day because of of the pain of of my back and my leg, 
and I had to put a heating pad on there. So for me to travel around and stuff like that, it gets difficult. But also one of the reasons why I don't like to travel is because of the, the fact that sometimes you run into some of these toxic people. Most of the people that I meet in the Philippines are good, decent people. But on occasion, you meet some of these people. And usually, I, 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 if, if I talk to them, I'm usually arm's length away. It's over the phone. Um, I've talked to some of the people out there that, 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 that are in jail right now. You know, I've talked to them before. Um, very toxic people over here. You know, some one of the guys particularly is is very toxic. There's actually four people that I know of that are in jail right now, and a couple of them were very toxic. I talked to them in the beginning when I first got over here. I haven't talked to them since, but I, I see where they are now, and I'm like, okay, that kind of that kind of says it all. You know, um, I've seen a couple of guys get blacklisted. Again, that was. That was had to do with people that were on the opposite side, people that were very needy, asking for money. Um, one, of, one of the people had a kid involved um, and living on the streets for a while. You know, um, that's kind of toxic in its own right. You know, I, I, I felt bad for the guy, but I think that he didn't come over here and plan very well. You know, and that's 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 part of of life over here. Unfortunately, that we meet a lot of people like that and they don't plan they don't plan properly and that's why i tell people about these these the amounts that you need because if you're coming over here on a slim budget of eight hundred dollars or a thousand dollars thinking that you're going to live pretty well over here you're in you're in for a, a, you know a, a, a god smack because man you're going to get woken up really really fast you know and you're going to find out that as soon as you have one thing over here i've just seen a bluebird down here if you, you're gonna find out if you have one problem over here, such as a medical thing or what have you, and and you, you need some money and you don't have insurance, you're done. You're done. Either you're gonna die if it's if it need if you need quick medical attention, or you're done. You're done. You know, something's gonna happen. You know, and anyway guys, I just wanted to throw that out there to you guys. And you know, remember, if you're using that word simp. I highly recommend you stop and, and, and let's just kind of get along with each other better than what we do over here, especially you guys down in Dumaguete. I see the, the Dumaguete boys down there and I feel bad for some of them because some of them are decent guys down there and they're getting attacked online, being called this and that. And I see guys in, in Cebu getting attacked. I see other guys getting attacked and it's like by idiots, total idiots. And they love using that terminology and they love mischaracterizing people and stuff and any of you guys that are thinking about vlogging you better consider that you know and i've seen some guys that 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 were vloggers we had that guy world zoom there uh world zoom um i kind of feel bad for the guy but i kind of don't in the same respect um you know he come over here and he and and people we we all found out about his past and 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 it came out and look at him now he's sitting in jail you know but that that's what happens you know if you don't you, i don't think he might he must have not been honest on some of his documentation or something like that or told people he didn't have anything on his police report or whatever i'm not sure what what happened but somehow somebody found out about something and i i think i'm not sure if they made a mistake or not um who we'll know sooner or later, I'm sure. We'll hear something in the news or what have you. But I mean, it's getting to be commonplace that things like that happen. And it's getting kind of scary out there for, for, for vloggers, I think, because it's like, geez, what's next? You know, these you keep seeing these people that are out there, but usually they're people that didn't have any money. They didn't have enough money to come over here, so they had to start their their vlogs up and then, you know, they survive off of that. It's out of desperation. Um, I don't need a vlog. You know, I do this to help veterans. I use it to help the expats come in here with their SRRVs and everything. And, you know, if it was up to me, some days when I, when I, when I, you know, when I see all this crap going on, sometimes I say, you know, is it worth it? Sometimes I don't think it is. You know, it's, it's nice to have that little extra check and everything and, you know, you can save it or whatever. Um, but when you start hearing the, the insults going on out there of people, it does get a little bit, a little bit too much, you know? 
But anyway, I want to talk about that guy, guys, because I heard that word way too many times, and it's something that if you're if you're a mature expat, you sh we should keep it out of our mouths. Anyway, guys, God bless. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed today's show.